You've probably heard the buzzword, autophagy. It sounds super scientific, but it's basically your body's built-in cleanup crew. Imagine your cells are tiny houses. Over time, junk accumulates. Old, damaged proteins, wonky cell parts. Autophagy is the process where your body tidies up, recycling that junk into new, usable parts. It's like a deep spring clean for your cells, and it's linked to everything from slowing down aging to boosting brain health. So how do you switch this incredible process on? The most powerful trigger is fasting. But fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all deal. Let's break down the most popular methods to kickstart autophagy. First up, we have intermittent fasting, or IF. The most common form is the 16.8 method. You fast for 16 hours and have an 8-hour window to eat. For example, you might finish dinner at 8 p.m. and not eat again until 12 p.m. the next day. This daily gentle stress on your body is often enough to initiate a low level of autophagy. It's a great starting point for beginners because it's relatively easy to fit into your lifestyle. Want to level up? Enter the 24-hour fast, also known as Eat Stop Eat. This is where you go a full 24 hours without food, maybe once or twice a week. You could eat dinner on Monday and then not eat again until dinner on Tuesday. Research suggests that autophagy really starts to ramp up after the 18 to 20 hour mark. So a full 24 hour fast gives your body a solid window to get some serious cellular cleaning done. It's more challenging, but the benefits can be more pronounced. Now for the big one, prolonged fasting. This means fasting for more than 48 hours, typically three to five days. This is where autophagy goes into overdrive. After a couple of days without food, your body is in full-blown survival and repair mode. It's not just cleaning up old parts. It's aggressively seeking out and recycling damaged cells to conserve energy. This is considered the most potent way to stimulate autophagy. But here's a huge disclaimer. This is not for beginners and should absolutely be done under medical supervision. It's a serious commitment with potential risks if not done correctly. So to recap, 16-8 is your daily tune-up. A 24-hour fast is your weekly deep clean. And a prolonged fast is your major, once-in-a-while renovation project. No matter which you choose, you're giving your body a powerful tool for self-repair. Start slow. Listen to your body and find the rhythm that works for you. Your cells will thank you for it.